Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Try This. Today we're going to be trying, well, rather looking at some really cool cassette tapes that I recently got in the mail, and, you know, through some various other places like thrift stores and record shops. Oh boy, do we have some goodies today. I can't wait to rip into these packages and see what amazing treasures we have inside. always good to see when a seller takes care to package something up very well, especially when, you know, you figure cassettes and eh, they're not very valuable, but this person took great care and they even gave me a personal thank you note. I really appreciate that. These are the Cruisin Classics cassette tapes. I believe there are six of them to the set, and I have all of them. Mine are in mint condition, still sealed. This is an amazing set, not only for the music that's on them, but also from a retail standpoint, because these came from the gas station chain, Shell. Here's volume one. We're going to unwrap each of these and take a look at them together. I was quite surprised when I popped one of these in my cassette player and took a listen. Usually these mixtapes that aren't done by the original record label don't sound all that good, but these sound fantastic. I really wish I could play you some snippets of these cassettes, but unfortunately with YouTube's copyright strike problem, I won't be able to do that. It'll just demonetize me and then I won't make any money off of these videos and the ads. Pulling the cassette out and taking a look at the J-Card is awesome. I love a good J-Card, especially when it has retail stuff like this all over it. Just looking at the Shell motor oil and these rebates brings smiles. Hmm, I wonder if they would still honor that rebate if I sent it in. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it.
Here they are, all lined up in a row from Volume 1 to Volume 6, and isn't this an amazing sight that you don't often see? A complete set. Here's an artist you've probably never heard of. This is the Alan Parsons Project, and I mainly got this cassette tape because I'd heard someone else showing it off in one of their boombox videos, and I was like, wow, that kind of sounds super 80s, and, you know... What better to put into a vintage boombox from the 80s than something that sounds super 80s? Anyway, so um, I'd never heard of them myself. Apparently, it's a very popular artist from the 80s. Um, does a lot of electronic kind of music. Really weird music, actually. But, um, of course, all the wrapped ones I bought off of eBay. And you can usually go on eBay, type in a artist that you're looking for or a specific cassette and if you type in sealed or new it'll usually come up with at least one or two examples that you can get for a reasonable price usually you know around ten dollars or so for a brand new sealed one So here's a goal of mine, and that is to collect every single cassette and CD that Yanni ever produced. And I'm sure you're going, who is it, Yanni? Well, you either know of him or you don't. He's categorized under New Age, even though if you were to ask Yanni himself, he would say, I'm not New Age. Well, then what do you categorize him under? You gotta put him in some genre. I guess he's a genre in himself of his own. Um, anyways, he does instrumental music. And sometimes his songs will have vocals in them, and not in the sense of singing with lyrics, but kind of like humming or harmonizing in a way. It's really great music to listen to if you're just editing some videos or, you know, working on a puzzle, whatever. It's kind of good background music. Yanni is a very popular artist. He's known all over the world and has millions of followers. If you have not heard of Yanni, I highly recommend that you check him out because his music is very upbeat and jazzy. It's amazing. So you'll see me winding all of these tapes, and that's because I like to check out and see what color the tape is. Is it, you know, a light brown color or a dark color? Um, you know, just to see whether it's a Type 1 ferric tape or a Type 2 chrome tape, because the Type 2 chrome tapes will sound better, usually. Um, this one, you can see the darker color. It is definitely a chrome tape, and it does say that it's a chrome tape on the actual cassette. They often don't tell you what kind of tape it is, but sometimes they will. And finding a metal one, I don't think you'll ever see one of those. This is what I love about physical media and getting back into it. For the longest time, I was like, ugh, physical media is stupid. It sucks. I hate it. Why would I not just download it and have one hard drive with everything on it and not have to have hundreds or thousands of individual items? And then you kind of realize the boom boxes are freaking awesome from the 1980s. Well, and once you get a boom box, then you're going to need stuff to play on it. And so you start getting cassette tapes. And then you're like, why don't I have a high-end cassette deck? And so you start searching for one of those. And that leads you down the rabbit hole of collecting tapes and CDs and all kinds of other formats. And some of this stuff is only released on physical media. You can't find the digital version. Or, for example, like things like Netflix for movies. 
they have the movie that you want on there and you're like, wow, that's awesome. And then one day it's just, well, we're not going to have it anymore and it's gone. So unless you physically have a copy of it, you know, whatever service you're getting that file from or streaming from, one day they could just take it away. So sometimes having the physical media is better. You know, and often you'll find versions of songs that are slightly different on physical media. You can see I'm having a hard time getting this uh, rapping off of this Reba McIntyre tape. And, you know, I knew she was a good artist and there were a few songs I liked of hers, but I didn't think there were this many. And, you know, I'm not really a fan of country music, especially old country music, but this is more, you know, her newer stuff. When you start getting into Reba McIntyre's more popular things and her newer stuff, it's more country pop rather than, you know, old school country from the hills of Tennessee or whatnot. So when I popped this one in my cassette tape player, it sounded fantastic. And that's because you can see they used Dolby noise reduction. I think this is HR Pro or whatever they call it. It's a, it's a high-end uh, noise reduction. And I believe we're going to wind the tape to see exactly what kind of tape this is. Sorry, it takes a while doing it with your finger. I should get the big pen. And yes, it's the darker tape, which is chrome. And that means it sounds freaking fantastic when you put it in a high-end tape deck. Here's an artist that really isn't one of my favorite, and that's mainly because of the style of music. This is Barbara Streisand, and she has a fantastic voice. I can recognize the talent there. I just don't care for the style of music. You know, when she does um, stuff with other people, there's a Guilty Pleasures album where she's singing duets with someone else. That's pretty good because it's more upbeat and poppy. And when she does some of her Broadway-style stuff, like The Way We Were and... Um, some of the stuff from Yentl, that stuff is pretty great. My mom really loves Barbara Streisand, so, you know, I wanted to get these and throw them in my collection. And since they're mint condition uh, still sealed, I was like, you know, why not? I love it when an eBay seller takes the time to actually write a personal letter to me. This means a lot. So we're going to take a minute here to thank whoever this was. I can't remember who the seller was, but you can read the note here if you want to pause it. And it's, you know, got the seller down there at the bottom. I hope you're enjoying taking a look at these mint condition sealed cassette tapes that I've been getting off of eBay. If you're enjoying the new content that I'm producing here for Try This, then leave a comment down below and let me know. I know it's kind of, you know, a different format and I'm going off in a different direction from what I normally do on Try This, but I figured, hey, why not show off some really cool old cassette tapes and records and CDs and boom boxes and all kinds of vintage audio equipment because I know a lot of people out there are interested in this kind of thing and technically it is kind of something that I'm trying out for the first time so it does fit in you know the try this channel if you like it then give the video a thumbs up and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you on another episode of try this <laughs>